coffee is now the world's most popular drink, with around 2 billion cups consumed every day. In the US, about half of the people aged 18 and over drink coffee every day. But a new study looked at the combined effects of disrupted sleep and caffeine on our metabolism, and found startling results. Researchers looked at the effect of broken sleep and morning coffee across a range of different metabolic markers. They found that whilst one night of poor sleep has limited impact on our metabolism, drinking coffee as a way to wake up can have a negative effect on blood sugar control. Keeping our blood sugar levels within a safe range to reduce the risk of conditions such as diabetes and heart disease is incredibly important, and researchers said these results could have far-reaching health implications, especially considering the popularity of coffee across the world. In this study, 29 healthy men and women were put through three different overnight experiments in a random order. In one, Participants had a normal night's sleep and were asked to consume a sugary drink on waking in the morning. On another occasion, participants experienced a disrupted night's sleep, where the researchers woke them every hour for five minutes, and then upon waking were given the same sugary drink. On another, participants experienced the same sleep disruption, i.e. being woken throughout the night, but this time were first given a strong black coffee 30 minutes before consuming the sugary drink. This sleep disruption was designed to mirror insomnia, noise disturbance, or a new baby. In each of these tests, blood samples from participants were taken following the glucose drink, which was similar in calories to what might typically be consumed for breakfast. Their findings highlight that one night of disrupted sleep did not worsen participants' blood glucose and insulin responses at breakfast when compared to a normal night's sleep. This reassured researchers as past research suggested that losing many hours of sleep over a few nights can have negative metabolic effects. However, strong black coffee consumed before breakfast substantially increased the blood glucose response to breakfast by around 50%. Now, previous research has found that caffeine has the potential to cause insulin resistance. This new study, therefore, shows that the common remedy of drinking coffee after a bad night's sleep may solve the problem of feeling lethargic, but could create another by limiting the body's ability to tolerate the sugar in your breakfast. Professor James Betts, co-director of the Centre for Nutrition, Exercise and Metabolism at the University of Bath said, We know that nearly half of us will wake up in the morning and before doing anything else, drink coffee. Intuitively, the more tired we feel, the stronger the coffee. This study is important and has far-reaching health implications, as up until now we have had limited knowledge about what this is doing to our bodies, in particular for our metabolic and blood sugar control. Put simply, our blood sugar control is impaired when the first thing our bodies come into contact with is coffee, especially after a night of disrupted sleep. We might improve this by eating first and then drinking coffee later, if we think we still feel the need for it. Knowing this can have important health benefits for us all. Lead researcher Harry Smith from the Department for Health at Bath added, As such, individuals should try to balance the potential stimulating benefits of caffeinated coffee in the morning with the potential for higher blood glucose levels, and it may be better to consume coffee following breakfast rather than before. There's a lot more we need to learn about the effects of sleep on our metabolism, such as how much sleep disruption is necessary to impair our metabolism, and what some of the longer-term implications of this are, as well as how exercise, for instance, could help to counter some of this. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe for more upcoming videos.